There is a big fight brewing between union workers and their employers over Obamacare and a major sticking point. Who's going to pay for the new mandates attached to Obamacare, of which there are several and they are significant? Michael Warren, staff writer, Weekly Standard. How are you, Michael? Good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. Many unions were on board this law. Did the union see the added charges coming? If they didn't, they, they really should have. I mean, there is that irony in this, is that the big unions were some of the first people who were supporting Obamacare before it was even Obamacare. And, and, and so, it, like the insurance companies, when the insurance companies complain about the program not working or, or getting the right information to the, to, to the, to, you know, from the people paying to the insurance companies, or just that they have to raise uh, insurance premiums, the, the question is, well, why, why, what did you expect? Why did you sign on to this, uh, to this law? Uh, you should have known better. And, and so I think you're seeing the same thing happening uh, with these, uh, these leaders of these big unions. But you're going to see how many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, I mean, possibly millions of American workers, whether they're in Las Vegas or whether they're in Philadelphia, they're renegotiating contracts now. That's, that, yeah, that's right. I mean, and, and if I were a union member, I'd be upset too because the way that the law was sold to them was that, uh, look, you know, people would be able to get insurance coverage that they weren't able to afford or have available to them before. And hey, your insurance wasn't going to go up. They're finding now that there's actually a bill that has to be paid. And who's going to pay? It's just like when we saw, you know, right after the implementation of Obamacare in October, where those individual market folks uh, were, were given higher premiums uh, or kicked off their plans. It's the same sort of thing. They're finding mm -hmm. out, wait a second, somebody has to pay for all these extra entitlements or these extra taxes. And uh, yeah. union members are finding, hey, it's us. Did that, you, that, that, that can't bode well for the Do you law. smell a waiver coming down the line in this? Possibly. I mean, <laughs> we've seen so many waivers already. It's, it's, it's very likely that the White House uh, could do that. And, and I think the reason is, is this is a politically potent issue. I mean, you're going to see, uh, you, if you look at the polls, you see a lot of the numbers have kind of you know, leveled out here. You know, the, the support for the law is about 40%. Uh, opposition is somewhere around 60%. And that's been the case for a while. Uh, how many of those people who support the law are union Democrats who think, oh, well, this is a good law and it's not going to hurt, hurt me, it's not going to affect me? Yeah. You could start seeing those numbers change if, uh, if this continues. Uh, are you suggesting for November, that is, or even beyond? Well, certainly for November, yeah. but it does require people like uh, Republicans running for office to make the case for it, and, and maybe even Democrats, too. I mean, you're starting to see some of the Democratic support for this president, uh, not only with Obamacare, but, of course, with the VA scandal as well, begin to crumble. I think you might be able to s start seeing some, some holes in that, in, that, in that wall, that line of defense. Mm -hmm. and, and so perhaps you'll see both Democrats and Republicans uh, making the case that, that this Something law needs watch. to be changed. Yeah. yeah. The headline, unions employers squaring off over Obamacare costs in their collective bargaining. We'll see where it goes and how it ends up ultimately. Thank you, sir. Michael Warren in Washington. Thanks, Bill.